Hello Aries, welcome to weekly reading. I am back. I am feeling so much better. So thank you to everyone who sent me some healing energy and all your love and understanding. Uh, I was ill for a little while, but I am now back and feeling so much better and even better that I'm doing readings again. So it's good. Uh, and speaking of readings, one thing I wanted to mention before we go into yours is that personal readings are now open again, but this is going to be the last time that they're open for a very, very long time, if not forever, uh, because I want to spend more time on this channel and growing this channel and being there for you guys, all of you. Uh, so yes, if you wanted to get one for the last time or for the first time and last time, and that is linked down below. Um, but for now, let's talk about your week for the 23rd to the 29th of May. All right, for you guys, Aries, let's have a little look and see what Spirit has to say. Let's see the Aries, please. Okay, good. Good start. Let's pull you two more and then we'll talk about it. Did that flip? Nope. Two more, please, Spirit. Did that flip? Nope. How many false starts are we going to have for Aries? <laughs> Let's see. Okay. I had a feeling that there was something there between um, between you guys. There is something blocking you from something, um, but I'm going to talk about it in just a second. Now, the first card you have out is a very good card. It is a card of peace. So whatever you are going through, do not worry. Do not fret where you are going and where you are heading is very very good and very peaceful but also very enlightening because some of you you could definitely be going through or be currently going through a spiritual awakening of some kind understanding yourself on a deeper level i definitely can feel that in fact you're actually moving more towards self-confidence self-love but also a lot of rewards when it comes down to your future in general I'm, I'm it's just a general reading at the moment and i'm not picking up anything heavy right now so it's nothing specific like it could be anything from your career to relationships to anything that you've got going on at the moment. But we'll pull some tarot in a second. Um, what I do see, though, is that this kind of self-discovery may have been going on for a little while, Aries. And it definitely has been a painful journey for you because I don't think you like being vulnerable, uh, especially those that I'm picking up on. And I think that you have been through so much. And I think that there has been a lot of past memories coming back Uh that are coming back for a reason for you to understand certain boundaries that you had, certain barriers that you had, um, certain limited self-beliefs that you had that were actually blocking you. So these blockages that seem to be coming up were actually there for a while. But now that you're seeing them, now that you're discovering them, you're actually learning a little bit more about yourself and what still is there that needs to go and what still is there that you like and want to keep about yourself or actual things in your life like career and stuff like this or people what you're going to be doing or have been doing is kind of weighing up your options and seeing where you want to go moving forward and, and what that takes to get there so uh, a lot of a lot of uh, this is this definitely an awakening for you guys in terms of actually stepping up to lead in your life which is great so you do have peace one thing i'm going to mention with this here um aries is that there is still something that's in the works again this could be anything between you your career your relationships there is something that you are manifesting that will come to life but you're learning how to understand how to let it go a little bit more and uh, this is a card also of forgiveness so again this is where the past might be coming back it is still mercury retrograde so expect it um, and don't be surprised when it does come up usually it doesn't come up for you to actually fix something with someone and to come back together again but a lot of the time it is to really learn the lessons of the person or the purpose of this situational person in your life so that you can move forward uh to to yeah gain a new perspective and to benefit from this because everything in life is a lesson even if things we wish weren't a lesson, they were a lesson. Um, and this is about a higher level of understanding coming through for you guys, which is a good thing. Um, you then have the Chaos and Conflict. Now, I like that the Peace card came in because it kind of counteracts this. But again, this is where I say that things that we saw once in black and white, we're now understanding there is a nice mixture of something in the middle of this. So um, one thing I'm going to be mindful of for you guys is that there is no use of extreme ways of thinking and i think in the past you did kind of see something as either good or bad whereas this now as you can see is turning into something more colorful you're understanding that there is actually something in between that things are both good and bad you know uh, and everything else in between so 
the case of chaos <laughs> case <laughs> the chaos and conflict card is purely just you understanding things on a deeper level and becoming more vulnerable with this i think you did create a barrier against people and situations in the past and um saw it as either good or bad or again created this kind of shield uh from yourself and from people because of what you've been through but this is where it's kind of being shattered now so that you could be more vulnerable with people to not just get to know yourself but to also get to know others and understand that you're not alone and this could be definitely a good time of where you are reaching out more to others or people are reaching out a bit more to you and this is happening because spirit wants you to socialize spirit wants you to be part of a community so you can understand that you're not alone in whatever it is that you feel like you're going through, uh, that you are going through. And uh, this is actually going to help you move forward, okay? So there was a level of resistance in the past. Uh, if there was kind of this chaos and conflict energy, it is most likely because you were heading down a route that isn't serving you. So it's about addressing that, being more vulnerable and open with yourself. That something that you really wanted isn't working out for you. So you can move to something that is going to work out for you and no longer walk backwards in life. So uh, the Between Worlds is a really good card. Uh, one thing though that it does bring in and that I can see is kind of happening for you is that there is this kind of uncomfortable period that you're going through of the bad still being there but also just remember where you're heading and it is more towards the good um and i do see a lot of progress coming in for you we have a lot of freeze in your reading by the way we have four freeze so three 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 check to see what that means if you're interested um but the between worlds just remember where you're heading not really where you came from i think again this is where that past energy is still lingering um and it does still have a hold on you in some way but you're moving forward beyond this so it is good keep doing that keep moving forward because i do see a lot of rewards a lot of recognition coming through and also a lot of self-empowerment coming through with that as well so aries it does look good just remember not to let your past hold you back uh, we all make mistakes and we all learn from them um, or we all should learn from them i think this is where it defines us uh, defines who we are it's not really what happens to us it's how we come from it uh, and not everyone learns their lessons and this is what kind of separates you from others aries you you are learning which is what's making you a better person okay uh, let's see what's going on for you guys in terms of the tarot let's see for aries please six of cups i knew this this was gonna come out i was saying this uh, intuitively i could see that the past is still kind of there again this could be old friends old romantic partners coming back here for a chit chat uh, it's up to you whether you want to talk to them here aries but this is more of like a someone's thinking about the good times uh, this could even be you or again if it's not you uh or the good times then you could be thinking about your childhood a lot and again the the conditioning and stuff that you you kind of went through but there is a lot of nostalgia maybe both good and bad actually <laughs> and everything in between like we were saying in the chaos and conflict i think with this energy I, I think that we need to understand that there is a bit of a balance here i think there was both good and bad in in this um so just be aware not to focus on just the bad i think that there is something worth looking at here whether it's a lesson and you've become someone a strong person because of what you went through um you know i think someone is maybe disappointed with how they treated you uh, but i think that they had to, some things to sort out in their life first i, I do believe that this is um, what they're going to be speaking to you about uh, i think someone wants to make things right with you with the six of pentacles too this is about giving to the right things and maybe someone felt like they wasn't wasn't giving to the right things maybe they did prioritize something um, above you and whether that was a regret or a mistake of theirs well, with the five of cups it could have been um but maybe they weren't in the best of states to give to this connection or to give to this situation okay uh six of pentacles could also be you looking back at the old work that you used to do or the old way of being that you used to be um in both a good and bad way again if there's some things that you used to do that you wish you were doing now then just bring it back into your present uh, and anything you you don't like uh, leave it there is really what i'm gonna say you are fully in control of your present situation um or at least how you deal with your situation and, and uh the free time that you have you are in control of certain things not everything but most and this is what spirit is really asking for you to find a balance with okay um if there are things that you don't like it's about not giving time to it anymore you know whether it's people and situations which for some of you i do think you have given people the benefit of the doubt that are still with you now and maybe it's a good time this could be like childhood friends or people um in your life 
or situations in your life that you have held on to for a long time because you had loyalties to them. However, as you can see now, I really feel like you're starting to give more to other things that actually do benefit you. All right, because with this energy, I kind of get a sense that there are a lot of people who have taken from you um, Aries or taken you for granted as well. And those people still want to be around you um, because of the things that you give to them, whether it is money, whether it is happiness and memories and, and kindness here for a lot of you, because you are a very kind person with the Six of Cups. You are very nurturing. Um, Aries, I just get a sense here that... Uh, it's about just not giving to things that are taking too much and to balance the scales here again, okay? Um, let me see anything else. This is a, a, a time, of, I think, where some expenses might be coming out here. Um, I want to say it might surprise you a little bit, so just make sure you do have some money put to the side so that you can uh, deal with the situation correctly. But Six of Pentacles is good because I feel like you're finding a perfect balance again. And uh, you are accepting people's apologies that are coming through here as well which i think is a good thing i think it's going to set your soul free uh, it doesn't mean again that they need to be in your life and for a lot of you you're not going to keep them in your life but i think it's worth hearing the other side to the story so that you can move on with clarity and i think that's why it's coming up for you guys but i dropped a card be where be i was gonna say beware i'm gonna pick up but maybe beware my intuition today i don't realize what i'm saying until it comes up in the cards and i'm like oh okay here we go three of swords yeah there is pain um i'm kind of getting this again this is where this balance is coming through here with the six of pentacles there is some things that are good in your life that should stay and you should give more time to it things that make you happy things that give you joy whether it is people and community i think for those out there who really benefit from socializing and you have been keeping yourself to yourself for a bit this is a really good time to get out there and to be open and to express yourself to these people and uh, to let people know what you're going through because we do have this element of heartbreak here i'm just going to clarify what this is because we have the four four we have the eight of cups underneath the deck here which means that you have had to walk away from situations to uh kind of find yourself again because I feel like you might have lost yourself in certain situations here. And this is what the Three of Swords is kind of ringing true to me. Let's clarify this though. This, if this is not you, then it definitely could be other people here. Yeah, look at this conflict. Oof. A lot of uncertainty, a lot of jealousy, maybe even third party situations. Could have been a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yeah, definitely the sea underneath that here with the... Um, this could confuse you if certain people do come back here, Aries, uh, with the Three of Swords and a Moon card. You might not give this the benefit of the doubt and you might not even speak to this person, um, but it does feel like they're coming through with an apology of some sorts here. But you're very conflicted about this and very also very confused. But Aries, Leo energy coming through. Um, you have the strength to move forward if you want to make amends and you can. Some of you might not give this the benefit of the doubt actually. But the strength card coming through with the moon and the three of swords, this is just a temporary feeling that's coming through for you that might make you a bit uncomfortable. Uh, but with the strength card again, you will kind of move forward from this anyways. And uh, in fact, it might make you feel stronger afterwards. Uh, and the fact that you were able to resist this kind of temptation to go back to something or to try and mend something that's not your responsibility to mend, not your responsibility to fix, because you're more focused on your future now uh, and on your independence now and on your work right now and your money and your finances and everything that comes with you being an independent boss ass bitch, basically. So I'm just going to say uh, this is your priority and I think that you're not going to be giving in to anyone who has hurt you. Uh, and that's a strong, that's a really strong move for you, Aries, because I feel like that's new. Uh, that's new to you. You're paying more attention to maybe some children around you, if you have children, or maybe in your family. Uh, you're paying more attention to, yeah, the people that you really do love and people who haven't really betrayed you, you know. You're paying more attention to this. For a swords, the five of pentacles. Yeah, you feel a bit left out in the cold and maybe people feel that way towards you. There is healing involved in this. If you need a timeout, then take a timeout here. Um, especially if these are from people, if people are coming back into your life and it is overwhelming you, then definitely uh, to focus on yourself. I do see here that you are kind of looking at things that didn't work out in your life. 
there's a lot in your mind basically Aries I really kind of feel like this is all kind of happening without you even controlling it you know um which is in this case looking like a very big lesson for you especially in terms of your strength especially in terms of why you're putting your time and energy and who you're giving your time and energy to uh four of swords it is about kind of healing this kind of abandonment issue that seems to come through because people who did abandon you seem to be coming back in um but it is asking for you to prioritize yourself at this time and prioritize the people who have been there for you when you needed them and stuff like this so so yeah anything else for aries or is this everything the devil mm -hmm. temptations again coming through for you i'm going to blame this on mercury retrograde but what you do have is the sun and the magician you're in control of where you put your energy and putting it towards freedom because these two kind of coming up together like this is huge we have a very dark energy we have a very light energy we have a very tempting energy and restrictive and controlling energy we have a very freeing uh and also even just the ages between these as well i feel like it's really important to not let responsibilities weigh you down life can be hard Aries I think we all can vouch for that too um, but it doesn't need to control us it doesn't need to restrict us and let in the responsibilities of life weigh you down is going to really damage your own spirit here so allow your inner child to be free allow yourself to look at the positive things because there are some positive things around you or positive people at least that are around you that we should be grateful for too and really paying attention to this energy is going to set you free and set your soul free as well and help you move forward rather than backwards okay and the magician, you're in control. You have all the elements around you. Spirit is definitely going to be giving you some new beginnings, new creative ideas. Um, it's up to you if you want to embark on those. The magician kind of gives me this free will energy for you within this week. So it's up to you if you want to go back to where you felt that there was a lot of conflict or chaos. Uh, going back to the past or whether you want to move forward with this newfound confidence that you have got since removing yourself from these situations. So uh, a lot to think about. A lot to heal but there are some good things there in terms of love we have expressed your love so this is a really good time to uh definitely express your feelings this could be someone else expressing their feelings to you very soon uh this is someone that you already know most likely as well or someone that you may not even actually expect coming through to tell you uh but if this is also you who have hidden who has hidden your feelings then uh then this is definitely a time to speak up but it does feel like hidden feelings are coming to light we have attraction so whilst you're doing you aries and loving yourself first beautiful stuff it does feel like this is where you're actually becoming the most attractive so uh, expect a lot of admirers for you guys this week okay my angels if you wanted a personal reading again those are down below and only being sold for now and they will be closed um but i will see you guys next time okay have an amazing week bye